how is how, how are you today? Good. Are you ready for a great performance? Yes. The kindergarten hi. The kindergarten classes have been working very hard on their performance. I know first grade has already done their year performance, and second grade did theirs, and now it's time for kindergarten. And their performance is called The Little Engine That Could. Can you think of what character trait maybe The Little Engine That Could is going to display? What character trait? Hmm, what do you think? Endurance, do you think maybe we'll see something about endurance? Oh, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Well, today we have Mrs. Grosvenor, Mrs. Keller, Mrs. Shepard, and Ms. Mrs. Van Heinegan's kindergarten class. They're going to do their version of the little engine that could. And I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Weaver. Shouted, Oh no, our train is broken. What 
what shall we do? We need another engine to push us over the mountain. The train watched, listened, and waited for help. Clickety-clack, there was a sound on the tracks, the sound of an approaching engine. The little toy clown was hopeful, and the wheels on Happy Train wiggled and jiggled with happy anticipation. The clown waved a red flag, and the engine's glistening wheels came to a stop. Why are you stopping me? complained shiny new engine. The clown waved the red flag and Rusty Krusty Engine creaked to a stop. Problem? The Rusty Engine creakily asked. Slow 
slowly the engine creaked and squeaked away and sneezed a big dusty ah choo choo. everyone on Happy Train. Again, they watched, listened, and waited for help. After a while, they heard a very loud noise on the track. Coming toward them was a powerful freight train. Big important train hissed and stopped. Why did you stop me? It steamed. I think I think 
We don't think you can do it, said everyone on the train, but you can try. Little engine slowly connected with happy train. It pushed and pushed and pushed. Slowly, as they moved up the mountain, little engine said, I need more power. Please, everybody, sing the song with me. Little engine pushed Happy Train up to the very top, and then down, down the mountain they easily chugged. There were the children waiting for them in the village station. Happy Train was very happy to be there. The toys were very, very happy, and the apples, pears, bananas, and peaches were so happy, they cried sweet fruit juice tears. Everyone shouted, Hooray! Hooray! For the brave little engine that could sing us over the mountain.
time, there was a happy little train. Happy Train had a very important job. It was carrying a big load of good, healthy food and brand new toys to the girls and boys who lived on the other side of the mountain. Engine. 
The toys, the clown, and the food were very worried that no engine would help them push over the help push them over the mountain. They knew that all the boys and girls on the other side of the mountain were waiting for them. Then, in the distance, there was a new sound on the track, a very small, cheerful sound. Down the track came Little Engine. Too bad, the toy clown said. That engine is way too small to push us over the mountain. The clown didn't even wave the red flag for the engine to stop. But that Little Engine stopped anyway. Is something wrong? asked Little Engine. Our engine is broken, said the clown. We are hoping that a big engine will come and push us over the mountain. I am not big, said Little Engine, but I will try to push you. Sometimes when I need a lot of power, I sing a special song to make me stronger. It goes like this. with Happy Train. It pushed and pushed and pushed. Slowly as they moved up the mountain, Little Engine said, I need more power. Please, everybody sing the song with me. Happy Train was very happy to be there. The toys were very, very happy. And the apples, pears, bananas, and peaches were so happy they cried sweet fruit juice tears. Everyone shouted, hooray, hooray for the brave little engine that could sing us over the mountain. Thank you. 